Hello everyone. I hope everyone is safe and healthy, of course. This is the most important update on the current position of the Magnetic North. In this video, we are going to cover every aspect that I can possibly put into a video. Because, not just because there's new subscribers that need to know what is going to on with these timelines we are going to go over the timelines together but also I'm going to give it in detail about the planetary system and the magnetic north process that deals with three different positions and we are going to cover it in just a few minutes but I thought it was best to give a update and the update on the earthquakes will be this Wednesday and a lot is going on I can't believe so many earthquakes in diverse places and I already did a pre-recording because the program only goes the seven days and it's going to be out Wednesday hopefully I can do the recording Tuesday but if you look at this illustration here with the program and for now on, on the magnetic reversal as well as earthquakes, the program that I use will be in the description box. So you can purchase the program. This one that I purchased a couple years back was just $35. And I encourage all of you to get involved in this because it's changing every day. I'm seeing earthquakes in diverse places that I've never seen before. Now, in this video, we're not going to, you know, cover the earthquakes as a weekly update. And I stated in the last update that the channel's going to have to start doing updates on earthquakes twice a week, actually. And I may cut it down as much as possible. I don't want to make updates for... 15 minutes when it should be 30 minutes and then the first update of the week will be probably more than likely an hour okay and the second one will be 30 minutes so before we get started with this video I want to explain something when you run a channel that deals with the potential earthquakes that may happen within the next week or two or the next month it's very critical and important because you're dealing with people's lives I want to take you to Mary Greeley Mary Greeley News now the channel supported her a number of times and over a thousand subscribers went over to Mary Greeley News and she is the best no doubt okay but this one if I'm gonna have the links I have decided to put the links in here when you're branching off into a different area such as the magnetic reversal process and I'm gonna have this video here as well as far as the links because it's very important dealing with this type of event and it did not occur 22,000 years ago and it didn't occur over a million three million four million years ago and I'm going to explain because I sent Mary Greeley a very nice message to inform her that those two videos had disinformation in it and what I mean by that is that when people jump into a subject that is very complicated, like the magnetic reversal process that deals with over 32 subjects, and the magnetosphere, she never mentioned that. That consists of 10 subjects. Maybe she's not aware, okay? And that's okay. But I want everyone to be very cautious going to these channels, okay? A lot of these, like, you know, the magnetic reversal news, 
None of these channels explain what is taking place. They're not explaining the timelines. So I'm going to read you the comment that I sent Mary Greeley because maybe you can't read it. But here it is. Good day, Mary. I am totally disappointed in this video and the other video you did the other day. Meaning, knowing that Earth Changes Channel specializes in, in the magnetic reversal process, I've been involved in that subject since 2011. And then you are reading other people's articles for spreading disinformation. When I first got into the subject, I went to government agencies, read articles like you did in this video. The last time the magnetic reversal process took place was 3 million years ago, 2 million years ago, 1.5 million years ago, or 22,000 years ago. That is nothing more than disinformation from the federal government agencies and others who receive grants. And when I ran across independent researchers that was receiving grants from the federal government and they said 150,000 years ago, 75,000 years ago, Ben Davison, suspicious observer, who receives grants, said just five years ago, 80,000 years ago, and this year he changed it to 80 years from now. There is basically three types, Mary. The lowest is when the Earth stopped rotating for three days. You may remember, if not, you may want to research the history at 3,600 years ago dealing with the days of Moses when the Chinese reported three days of darkness the Sun came up and it went back down for three days period and the same time in the Middle East the Sun went down came back up produced three days of sunlight it deals with the planetary system Mary let me explain if I may it comes in every 3,657 years. We're currently at 3,654. Do the math 2024 or 2023, depending on the acceleration as it gets closer to the sun. Do the math. The day of Moses was approximately 3,600 years ago. The planet was approximately meaning planet Earth, ladies and gentlemen, was 180 degrees from the planetary system as it orbited the sun. 3,600 years before Moses brings us to the day of Noah, in which it cannot be proven, Mary, that the planet stopped rotating because geologists around the world has found evidence of massive amount of flooding, as well as tsunamis around the world. Volcanism did take place, which consists, as you know, volcanoes, earthquakes, enormous cracks, sinkholes, earth crusts collapsed on the water tables. The planet went into a rapid climate change because of the desalization of fresh water going into the salt water. It is estimated at that time the earth was approximately 90 degrees from the planetary system in the day of Noah. 3,600 years before. That brings us to the day of Atlantis was approximately 10 to 12 degrees from the planetary system. Full crust displacement took place, included earthquakes dealing with a magnitude of 12 to 14, possible 16. The magnetic north is currently at 30 8.5 degrees, the average of 1 degree per year, the tipping point in which the crust will separate from the upper mantle is at 40 degrees. Do the math. That's April of 2023. So we are about a year and a half, Mary, before not only your reality will change, but everyone upon this earth just wait until the planetary system returns with the 300,000 mile debris field, 1.5 to 2 million mile long tail. I've been on top of that subject for 17 years. If you have any questions or concerns, Mary, 
please feel free to email me anytime. Deep Truth Deep Impact at Yahoo.com. But thank you for all you do covering the earthquakes, especially your baby, Yellowstone. My baby is the magnetic reversal process, and I include each month the current location of the magnetic north, latitude, longitude estimates for the next six months to a year, as well as currently degrees. Earth Changes Channel is the only channel that includes degrees. Many blessings to you and your loved ones. Please continue in prayer because your reality and everyone else on this planet is about to change, including mine, Earth Changes Channel. So I went back and uh, this is what someone said, Mary, you are brilliant. Thank you. Okay. My comment was removed. Two of them, actually. I don't understand. I really don't. Now, I have always supported Mary Greeley. Of course, Yellowstone is her baby, and she keeps up with earthquakes. But the purpose of this, a lot of subscribers from this channel went over there. And I read some of the articles from the people over there, and not one single subscriber from this channel said anything about Earth Changes Channel. I am totally disappointed in several different ways. I really am. The reason is, for one thing, dealing with this particular channel, you're talking about billions of people's lives. That's right. Not just a few thousand or 50,000 or 100,000 or even a million dealing with these earthquakes that are about to take place that is going to be totally off the chart. So she should accept structural criticism. It was very respectable. But I'm disappointed in several different directions. So let's begin this video. I just wanted to inform everyone. Be cautious where you go. So the first thing I want to bring up is basically what <laughs> none of these channels talk about. It's very critical. It's very important. It's the 26,000 year cycle. And it began January the 1st, 2013. And it has nothing to do with astrology, okay? It deals with the constellations. It's very simple. We are at the beginning of the 26,000 year cycle. And what is happening from a very reliable source, a scientist that I'm connected to, told me the truth. The earth is in a natural process that deals with expansion. And as a result, the earth is heating up from inside the earth's core, heating up the upper mantle, and therefore heating up the earth's crust, heating up the earth's crust underwater, heating up salt water, and creating humidity. And he told me anything outside of that is nothing more than disinformation because it's a natural process. It is basically equal from what we're going through. It's three volcanoes per year, different dealing with carbon dioxide and CO2 levels. Just last month, we had 55 volcanoes going off in a one-week period. That's right. And if you combine it with the 48 that went off in a one day... Not simultaneously. Some of them came up, some went down, but regardless, in one day it was a record at 55 volcanoes throughout the world. So, this is a very, very important timeline. And we just happen to be living in it, and we're going to see earthquakes, and we're going to see enormous cracks and sinkholes, and this is what's causing it, plus a rapid climate change. So our earth is expanding. That's what's putting the pressure on the boundary lines and the tectonic plates, as you can see here in this illustration. But also, <laughs> we are in a number of timelines. So just hear me out. 
this is the first one 26,000 year cycle and it's creating the large plumes or bulges throughout the world and this illustration will show you one of them in the Pacific Ocean as well as the biggest one which is under Africa but also multiple plumes are forming throughout the world in this illustration we have all the plumes and this section is over Africa and then there's a large one just northeast of Australia but also in Canada okay right off the coast of Alaska one small one is in South America so these plumes are changing constantly when the earth tilts the magna goes into these dormant chambers that has been dormant for thousands of years and this is what's causing earthquakes in diverse places as you can see there's quite a few of them right but this isn't all this isn't all what I'm getting at we are in the grand solar minimum within the next year they estimating that we are going to go into the grand solar maximum approximately a year and a half in advance and this channel has covered that so what is causing our Sun to erupt at record numbers when it's a grand solar minimum well this is the summer and we're going into the winter solstice so what's happening planet Earth is between our star and the planetary system and so the planet is drawing energy pulling energy not just from the Sun it's pulling energy from our planet and this is caused the weakening of the magnetosphere which consists of 10 subjects and then the magnetosphere is the not the only one it's the ionic sphere that protects our atmosphere and we're getting charged particles entering our atmosphere and this is causing the lightning throughout the world so the lightning is increasing but I want to show you this this is approximately 10 degrees back in the day of Atlantis right and that is when the continents went through crust displacement also it is believed that the earth crosses the orbit of the planetary system as you can see here in this illustration so there's your 300,000 mile debris field that we're going to go through now in the day of Atlantis they went through volcanism, earthquakes, volcanoes, enormous cracks, sinkholes. Now it's really not known about if we went through a climate change which most researchers believe we did because of the desalization of the salt water by the fresh water and the ocean's current came to a stop but it's not proven. Now if you look at the day of Noah which I will get to in a minute it was proven and the scientists told me it was so I will cover that here in just a brief moment I want to focus on the planetary system at Atlantis which happened approximately 10,971 years ago okay at 10 degrees approximately 10 to 12 degrees so that is the worst scenario and it is believed that the plates made the adjustment of about three to four thousand miles now in the day of Noah okay the day of Noah was approximately 7,314 years and it was at 90 degrees the planetary system comes in every 3,657 years we are at 
in this illustration 3653.5 which is now 3654 this illustration was done about four months ago that's why it's a deviation in the number on the left hand side but in the day of Noah the scientists told me it's scientifically proven also the geologists got involved with the federal government and pre-crust displacement took place in certain parts of the world but not all at 90 degrees and when this happened he told me that the planet went into a rapid climate change the desalization of the salt water in the ocean's current came to a stop and within 40 to 60 days the earth went through a rapid climate change okay and it rained for 40 to 60 days according to the federal government and geologists as well as scientists now if you look at the day of Moses which was 3,657 years ago approximately the planetary system was at 180 degrees from planet Earth in this illustration it shows it so the earth stopped rotating the Sun went down came back up the Chinese reported in history three days of darkness and on the Middle East well it was different the Sun went down but came back up and it, they experienced three days of sunlight and this is recorded in history and there was massive amount of flooding as well as tsunamis throughout the world it's not rocket science the geologists found that information they did samples and it's proven so you can take it for what it is you can take it for what it's worth but this is real and all of this has been validated with confirmation from scientists now if you go back to the day of Atlantis 10,971 years ago okay 90 degrees from the day of Noah as you can see in this illustration almost 90 degrees basically about 80 because Atlantis was 10 to 12 degrees from the planetary system and it did cross the orbit of the planetary system so the planet was bombarded by the red iron oxide debris field and it was estimated 300,000 miles wide 1.5 to 2 million mile long tail and the planet earth went through that debris field every five to seven months for five years and when it comes back here in just a few years we are going to go through it again but it's going to be a little bit different and what I mean by that we are going to experience three days of darkness just like it's written in the biblical perspective and in that biblical perspective it caused you know planet X Nebiru planet of the crossing the great destroyer the dragon it's called wormwood and in the Bible of the book of Revelation it says a third of the stars will fall to earth and that's not talking about the fallen angels there's totally two different subjects also it states that this is interesting every mountain and island will be moved off its place or its platform is what I like to say so if you look at it here and look at it there and there now you can see the three different types of the magnetic reversal process now the disinformation that the government puts out and independent researchers well they want you to go back to work pay your taxes don't worry be happy pay them taxes so we can build underground facilities and one goes online here in the United States every 45 to 60 days and we have approximately 175 now and they're building more and more and more and in the biblical perspective it says that those 
will hide from God in fear and desperation to save their lives when the mountains will fall upon them. And the scientist told me, he stated, it doesn't make sense to holler out granite rock under mountains when crust displacement takes place because that's when the crust slides. They believe that 55% of the Earth's crust that separates from the loud booms that are happening throughout the world, that we will go through crust displacement. And I believe we are not going to move three to four thousand miles. If you watch the this, this series, Safe Location, Second Scenario, I talked about how I believe we will go approximately 1,270 miles to the north. So, a lot of disinformation is out there. The planetary system is coming. That's why over 160 people have been deleted for leaking out that information, including Dr. Robert Harrington, which was the chief astronomer for the United States Navy Observatory, and I received information from his wife how he got deleted. And don't forget Gene Shoemaker. He was deleted about a year later. Ten of his associates deleted. The computer was stolen along with his files and they burnt his laboratory down. Now, in this illustration, you're going to see the planetary system. Earth does not cross the orbit of the planetary system. Not in this illustration dealing with 90 degrees. So, Earth will go through three days of darkness, just like the Bible spoke of. And, I believe we are not going to move like Atlantis at three to four thousand miles. I believe we are going to move approximately 1,200 miles to the north. The United States will end up in Canada, and Canada will be at the extreme north. Now, this is my perspective. And I have been on this subject dealing with the planetary system for over 17 years. I have been researching the magnetic reversal process since 2011, 10 years. So it's coming and there's nothing we can do about it. Now these are the images that I received from Ukraine and it was infrared photos as you can see here. They're digital. So it's getting closer. I believe what I was told is true. That in November, December of 2022, we will see the what is called the Blue Kachina. And if you know anything about the Hopi prophecy, it states that once the Blue Kachina appears, in the northern stars that soon after that its brother the great destroyer the red kachina will appear and I was told that would be approximately the first quarter of 2023 now we're about to get into the new position of the magnetic north and approximately the date in which I will believe that we will be at approximately 40 degrees and that's the tipping point ladies and gentlemen that's when we will go through pre-crust displacement and crust displacement but I don't believe every continent on this planet will go through it it will be similar to the day of Noah also the channel reported back in 2000 15 that the planet as well as the Sun tilted six degrees simultaneously but also this year it was reported that the ecliptic tilted 30 degrees isn't that something and then the rocks are coming with the planetary system and remember it's coming in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit and if you look at this map 
what happened in August 2021, 2017, it's right over the Madrid. And then if you look at it again, it comes back in 2024, right over the New Madrid fault line. Isn't that a coincidence? Okay, so there's a lot going on. What's really freaking is the 30 degree elliptical orbit. And then we tilted 30 degrees this year. And then in this map, you can see the water line. And this was, now in this map, let me explain. I received the original copy before the state lines was put into it. And now it's out on Goofy, I mean Google. And they show the illustration. This was the original before they put the state lines in from the United States Navy. And it was classified when I got it. I received it from the scientists. But you can see 500 to 800 feet of water. Okay. The dark areas. And then in certain parts of the west. The west coast is completely underwater. So I want to explain why there's a big adjustment. Dealing with the magnetic north current position. Now I'm going to have this article. The distance between degrees in latitude and longitude, the North Pole. And I went back and I had to do some calculations because I felt like something wasn't right. And I'm going to explain here in a minute. First, we're going to go through this article and the link will be in the description box. Okay. So let's look at it briefly. Now... What is the difference between the degrees of latitude? So when I got into this, I did not know there was three to four different areas upon the earth that the miles are different. Okay. If you look at this one, it's 69 miles, approximately, latitude. Now, if you look at the equator, it totally changes. But remember, 69. Now, at the equator, it's 68.7 miles. And then at the Tropic of Capricorn in Cancer, at 23 degrees, it shows up at 68.94 miles. So, I got to thinking, am I estimate right with degrees? And this is the only channel that uses degrees, okay? No one else does that. So... At each pose, the distance is 69.40 miles. And that's what I was going by. But if you look at this, okay, this changes. This totally changes. And I had to spend eight hours recalculating my map, double checking, triple checking. And I found out that I was using the wrong miles for the degree okay as you can see right here 69.172 miles the distance gradually shrinks to zero as they meet at the poles and at 40 degrees north or south the distance between the degrees longitude is 53 miles wow that is a big big difference and we're still going to be at 40 degrees in 2023 but I'm going to show you on the map exactly what month we're going to be at so I spent eight hours look 53 miles 85 kilometers kilometers should I say so there's a big difference and we're going to look at it So, before we get started with the magnetic reversal current position of the north, I want to take you through a couple of videos and show you the devastation, but also to show everyone what convinced me as well as Jill that something's just not right. It's not right. And I was questioning everything related to 
to 37 degrees that's supposed to be in September. And then I started looking at all of the earthquakes that have sped up, speeding up, and will continue for the next few years until we go through the process. And as you can see, the earthquakes are off the charts. I have never seen it like this. And then if you look at what's happening with the South Sand Ridge, what an interesting name, region, that um, is the hottest spot on the planet right now. What I mean by that, dealing with earthquakes, it is off the charts. And late last evening, last night, a 7.5 and it was later downgraded to a 7.1. And, well, that's what they do. They downgrade. And if you look at what's taking place in Hawaii, with Kilauea, and also what is happening in California, okay, Alaska, the New Madrid fault line. But this is the one that's got my attention. Not just so that because, you know, over a month ago, six weeks ago, I said we got to keep an eye on these areas that was affecting that region. But if you look at it, it's actually mind blowing the amount of earthquakes that are taking place. I mean, look at it. This is not normal. We know that. Okay. And with the earthquakes taking place up north, which we will look at in just a moment, dealing with the area of the 40 degree mark, that it's increasing. There's no doubt. And if you look at the earthquakes I reported on around the 40 degree mark in the northern region, where the area is taking place dealing with the magnetic north moving and it will increase we we are going to see more earthquakes around the region of the magnetic north and this channel focuses on it i'm one of the only channels i believe um, that focuses on the earthquakes in that area dealing with the magnetic reversal process and then the enormous cracks that are taking place in Africa I did a video on that as well and then you look at some of the earthquakes that are taking place in diverse places now we're starting to see more and more indications in New Hampshire but also Canada and this channel has a lot of wonderful beautiful subscribers in Canada but also what is taking place in South America. So I'm going to take you here now. This is the hot spot I'm talking about. And it's called also the catcher's mitt. But as you can see here, there was a 7.1. It was a 7.5 and it was downgraded. That's what they do. And they are doing it over and over throughout the world. And I'm going to take you to the location here, 7.5, August the 22nd, right there, and right there, the location. And I've been on top of this area, I guess for about a month and a half, two months, when the first indication showed up as a 5, and then a few weeks later, a 5.5. And then a few weeks later, a 6, and then the 7.5, and then the 8.1, and now we have another 7.5. So, we're going to also look at what's taking place in Haiti. And some of you may not be aware, but over 2,000 people have died in Haiti. And it's not stopping with the death toll they are continue to add the numbers every day and i want to take you there for a brief moment 
and show you that area. But look at this. So here we are at Haiti with the five, uh, excuse me, there was a number of aftershocks, a 5.5, 4.8, but the big one was a magnitude 7.2, as you can see there in that area. And I even stated that, you know, we're seeing them in Puerto Rico and then Cuba and Haiti's in the middle. Welcome back to ABC News Live. Haiti is dealing with another blow this morning as we learn that a medical oxygen plant was damaged in the earthquake there, leaving it unable to provide oxygen to local hospitals. So far, that earthquake is estimated to have killed more than 2,000 people and left more thousands more without homes. Tropical storm, Tropical storm Grace is also making search and rescue efforts even more difficult with floodwaters cutting off roads to areas in need. So in this drone video, it would just show one location in Haiti. And this was a multiple concrete slab building. And as you can see, the whole structure was taken down. Now there was a lot of footage I could have put in here, but a lot of it was very, very sad to see children crying and people trying to rescue their children. And I, I just didn't want to put that in there. I, I believe you can get the picture what I'm trying to present to you with the earthquakes. And they are going to increase. And I believe very soon we're going to see a 10.5, maybe a 9.8 off the coast of Japan. But now I want to take you to look at the jet stream. As you can see in this illustration, the jet stream is abnormal. It's all broken up. And of course, we see more and more turbulence. There's another tropical storm that's forming. But you can see how it's scattered out in the northern hemisphere, but also in the southern hemisphere. And then the flooding that took place in Europe, it's not going to stop. It's going to continue. As you can see there, it's going to go right over the UK, Scotland, Ireland, wonderful subscribers there. And it's going to go down through Spain. But as you can see, how it's very inconsistent. It's supposed to flow up and down, up and down, and it's not. So you can see all the turbulence. And what's causing this is the weakening of the magnetosphere. And when that happens, that is the main energy that our planet is supposed to produce, and it's not. So what's happening with our jet stream? It's weakening. It doesn't have a way to navigate by itself in a normal way. And it's very, very inconsistent, as you can see here in the Antarctic. It's just simply not right. And as you notice, it's moving towards the east. It's supposed to be going towards the west. The northern hemisphere jet stream moves to the east. The southern jet stream moves to the west. So it's just totally messed up. And then this is up north, and it's moving towards the east. That's what I'm talking about. And then you can see the turbulence, how it's inconsistent. It's all broken up. And this is going to produce massive amount of flooding. And as some of you that subscribed to the channel a couple months back, six weeks ago, four weeks ago, I stated that we are going to witness the day of Noah here in America. And now it's starting to happen with the flooding in Utah as well as Tennessee the, along the East Coast. A number of people have passed away. In Tennessee, it was over 120 people have died. But as you're watching this footage, it looks familiar, doesn't it? What's been taking place in the UK, as well as Germany. This isn't Germany. This is Tennessee. 
Look at this. So, when I started looking at the footage of the flooding throughout the world, and the videos that I've done over the last couple of months, I realized, wow, combine all of that with the earthquakes, don't forget the 55 volcanoes that went off in a 24-hour period, and just a few days earlier, as well as a week or earlier, it was 45 to 48 volcanoes in a 24-hour period. So when I started looking at that, looking at the numbers of the earthquakes, and then combine it with the flooding and the weakening of the magnetosphere, and the ionic sphere is being affected, or atmosphere is being affected, then if, if you look at this year, you know, it's all over the internet that our planet tilted. That's right. And then, like I stated back in 2015, you know, Caltech released the information. I went back in the 18, 2018, and then they updated it again in 2020. So, what would cause our solar system, including the sun and every planet in our solar system, to tilt six degrees? And then this year, the moon tilted five degrees, and the moon's wobbling. We know this occurs every 18.5 years. So, something's going on, and that's when I started kind of like, I think we're already past 37 degrees, but I couldn't prove it until I did some research, which I wished I did months ago, finding out different degrees and different miles. This is footage from the East Coast, as well as Long Island along the east coast and this footage here is from Florida but it goes all the way up the east coast in the Carolinas yesterday they said two people p perished and then if you look at what's happening in Tennessee two infants perished 120 people have died and 12 to 1500 is missing but look at this this is in Tennessee this is in the East Coast and this is in Mexico but look at this so when I started looking at all the evidence and including the sinkholes the launch the enormous cracks that's taking place in Africa. Me and Jill was talking and we feel like this is the beginning. The beginning of days. The water has broken. And now we're going to witness the real birth pains. And <laughs> it's going to increase. But the flooding is spreading throughout the world. And I believe in October, more than likely, maybe September, October, we are going to see hurricanes starting to hit the United States approximately four months behind schedule. They normally come into the spring. But you can see with this tropical storm, it wasn't a tropical storm. It was the first hurricane this year to hit Mexico and then they had high tides flooding along the beach now the high tides could be related to the moon which is now you know wobbling or should I say it tilted five degrees so a lot of this is changing I just wanted to show you the evidence that made me think that something's not right. So let's go to the map. So before we get started, I want to take everyone to the current position.
As you know, in July, it moved 4.85 miles that month. And now, August, it has moved 5.45 miles per month. The average is 5.25 miles. That's five and a quarter miles per month. Sometimes it will deviate, slow down to approximately four and a half, sometimes 4.7. But this past month, it changed, speeded up a little bit, almost four and a half miles. So if you look at the reference mark, and that's what I'm going to have, this map is totally different. Okay, so that means we are currently at 38. 0.25 degrees and what I mean by that is when you look at the 53 miles for a degree and if you average that and look at it that we will be right here because the truth may shock you okay Reference mark 40 degrees, 53 miles is what I'm going by. That means we're going to be in April 2023, approximately five months ahead of schedule. And I'm so grateful that I caught this because now I have got it down as close as possible. And what I mean by that is if you look in on Google Earth and how sensitive it is when you move I'm going to I'm going to show you here. I'm going to draw a line. Okay? I'm going to zoom in as much as possible. Right there. Okay, so that right there is 4.83 miles. But if you're off right there, okay, that's almost a quarter mile off. So you have to be very, very cautious on marking these, okay? You have to be. Because if you don't do it correctly, by the time you end up, you're going to be five miles off six miles off and then this channel is the only channel that uses degrees and the reason I do that is because everything is estimated by the 40 degree mark okay the tipping point the scientists that I'm connected with that worked approximately two miles down in Pine Gap Australia he told me at 40 degrees, we will go through crust displacement. And a number of other researchers has determined that as well. So I want to show everyone these estimates so you can understand what I'm talking about. Now, I stated the last update, we will be at 37 degrees by the first week of September, maybe the last week of August, it depends on if it deviates or not. So these are the estimates based on 53 miles, and I'm going to show you. Okay. That right there is a estimate per month. Okay. And that comes out to about 4.75 miles okay so I'm going by the month okay so you can see right there and that right there is approximately 5.2 miles 5.25 5.23 so it's deviating from time to time 
but this is where we're going to be approximately my estimate so I'm watching it very closely but I know that it's somewhere between 5.25 or 5.35 miles per month so if you look at the estimate by the time we get to the end of December of 2021 we're going to be approximately this location and reference mark 38 and a half degrees is right here so I'm very very grateful because I was one and a half degrees listen to me okay degrees is totally different and this is the only channel that does estimates okay this is the estimate so it could deviate it may not be 5.25 miles it may be 5.9 it may be 4.5 so these are just estimates ladies and gentlemen that's all it is now by May of 2022 we're gonna be at 39 degrees so if you look at it that way and the purpose of these rings is to mark the degree point 39 degrees okay 39 point two five thirty nine and a half okay November 2022 39.75 degrees estimated January 2023 so each one of these rings get very close to the estimate where we're supposed to be at in degrees and here we are at 40 degrees based on 53 miles not 69 so when you look at the whole new schedule we're going to be at 40 degrees sometime in april of 2023 so the truth will shock you it shocked me it shocked jill and then the other thing that we noticed you know back when it slowed down you know back when it slowed down to, to 4.25 and then it went to 4.85 okay we was thinking if you look at it as a top spinning okay and then the top is spinning everything's fine sure there's going to be a few earthquakes but then when the top slows down okay that's when the top starts to wobble and i believe that's what we're seeing now and i want to explain also so you can see what i'm talking about this is the first time august 2021 4.5 never seen that before August 4.6 August 4.8 August magnitude 4.7 August the 22nd just the other day okay 4.5 so we're starting to see a change and we're going to see more if you look at what's going on in Iceland. Look at that. August the 12th, 4.5. August, 4.5, 5.2, 4.6, 4.8, Again, August the 12th, 4.5. Okay. I'm going to bring this around so you can see what I'm saying. I'm going to bring the north back up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So we're starting to see more and more in the Atlantic. August the 14th, 5.4, 5.0. August the 11th, 5.0. June. 
4.8. So what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to present to you is that we're seeing changes in our earthquakes patterns. Look at this. I covered it a while ago. Okay. Now they have a 7.5 on the 22nd. right there and then if you look at right here a 6.0 5.4 5.5 5.4 5.3 5.2 5.1 and then what happened right if you go back this just occurred on the 16th a 6.9 8.1 5.5, 5.5, 5.0 right here. Okay. So we're starting to see more and more indications along the Atlantic Ocean. And don't forget all of these. 5.5, August the 10th. 5.3, August. 4.9, August the 12th. 5.1, August. So what am I getting at? But don't forget this one. Okay, magnitude 5.2. August. And then when you look at the South Atlantic Alamedy, okay, that's what these circles are right here. And what that is, this came from the South Pole, which it has moved these two locations it split with South Atlantic Alamedy. And what's it doing? It's following the north, right? As you can see here, the north is moving in this direction. And it's going to end up at the reference mark that they believe, I don't know how, okay, but they believe this is going to be the new north. I don't know how. I don't know why, but that's what they believe, and I have to go by them. Maybe they're using a quantum computer. I'm not, okay? So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. April. 2023 40 degrees that's what we have and you can put it in your back pocket or you can leave it on the table so let's go here for a brief moment I'd like to explain something to you Beautiful, isn't it? It's amazing about this beautiful planet Earth. And it's going through some changes. And we are here. I am here. And so is your loved ones. This is why it's very important to not fear these events. Do not worry about these events. Because if you worry about these events, it will lead to fear and fear will lead to losing control this is not the time to lose control over your reality and I'm so grateful for all of you because I have put so much upon all of you over the last four to six months haven't I and I'm very grateful that this channel has so many wonderful subscribers that can accept these events that are taking place. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it, is it? Yes, it is. There is something we can do about it. And this is not the time to go on a spiritual diet, is it? 
This is the time to be strong. Continue in prayer. Spend time with your loved ones each and every day. I don't live my life like tomorrow is going to end. I live my life that I have approximately a year and a half now. Maybe sooner. I believe we're about to go home myself and I have my ticket. So does Jill. And many of you have your ticket because we know these things are coming and we are prepared spiritually to take care of ourselves and our loved ones as much as possible. Yes, maybe a few of them are not awake as you. Maybe a few of them do not want to talk to you about the magnetic reversal, earthquakes, end of days. This is the beginning of days, is how I see it, as well as Jill. And for someone like myself to say, it's difficult to wrap my mind around all of these events, I can't imagine what it's like for others. That's why they don't want to hear it. This is not the time to lose hope for your loved ones. Thinking that they're hopeless. Maybe they're not. You know, a lot of people are waking up. This is like, what do they say? Okay, 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 I get it. Something's happening. Well, it's been happening ever since September 23rd, 2017. Marks the beginning of the seven year tribulations. And come up in September of 2021, it will be the fourth year. So, what do you do? I'm asking you, what can you do? Yeshua taught us, live your life for the moment, didn't he? Do not think about the past because it will only bring depression. Don't think about the future, it brings anxiety. Anxiety can lead to depression. Okay, we live our life for the moment, don't we? And if that's true, from the estimates, we only have about a year and a half, right? Next year, 2022, August, and then approximately April, we're going to be there. And the earth is going to make the adjustment. It's called the great purification process. Because this civilization has failed a number of times. And the spiritual realm, the Heavenly Father, the Great Source, is going to stop all this evilness upon the earth. Not just the violation of human rights, but child trafficking, selling children as a commodity. It's pure evil. These 13 nutcases, and you know who I'm talking about. They want to delete you. They want to de delete me, Jill, our loved ones, our families. But all of this is in God's hands. It's not in your hands, or is it? What do I mean by that? You have the free will decision. The Heavenly Father has given us that to make the adjustment spiritually to understand that it is time for us to go home. This is not the only life we have. It's a wonderful and beautiful life waiting for us with colors that we have never imagined. And don't you think it would be beautiful sounds? beautiful sense of smell, maybe, maybe not. Some people say, well, you know, 
It's the spiritual realm, not the material. So, if you look at what we have before us all, ladies and gentlemen, to me and Jill and all of you that I have faith in you that this is an amazing time to be alive. If, there's that word again, if you are prepared spiritually, yes, this is a beautiful planet. Yes, you have your loved ones, but don't you think for one minute, one minute, that it's time for all of us to go home. You're going to see your loved ones over there. Maybe you have lost your mother or your father or your grandparents. Maybe your brother or your sister, your aunt, your uncle. We're going to see them again, right? Well, I hope you all enjoyed this message. It was difficult for me. I spent eight hours on the computer making the adjustment with the schedule, the map. But it's okay. It had to be done. Time is running out. Time is speeding up. Time for his return. Tell them. And I'm telling you, it's time for his return. Be safe, everyone. Much love. And may the Heavenly Father continue to watch over you and your loved ones. Please continue in prayer and be strong. Please, this is not the time to fall down. Much love, everyone. And God bless always.